just <gasps> introduction first. Stop trying to cheat. I don't know how to introduce this video. But I'm excited. Well, today, Max, who is my very tall boy, Ow. as you can tell, is going to be riding Dexter. Mainly because I have no other riding horses at the moment. And so it's the show jumper, the crazy one. <laughs> but yeah, Max uh, plays volleyball for Australia. And so this is pretty much an opposite sport, I feel, except it's still kind of in a sand arena. Except I'm on a hundreds of kilos animal. Yeah, yeah, just, just slightly different. The fact that the ring light is just half in the video. He's also trying to cheat because I have said that he has to tack up Dexter, which he's been pretty cocky about. And I've said this at like multiple shows. I'm going to get you to tack him up for this video. And he's like, well, I'll be great at that. And so I'm giving him full reign for the tack room. And it's no longer just like my float and everything in my float to choose from. It's like this saddle, all of those girths, all of the bridles, all of the saddle pads. So good luck. I got this. I yeah, sure. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, we're going for white. Oh, no. Nah, I thought you hiding shit. Hiding? No, it wasn't. I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be fair. Mm, nah, I Can you fix something that goes with my yeah. leggings? Oh, I don't know. I was going to rip. Does that go? No, but oh, no. no, not really. You can get it from, you actually have to get stuff from the float too, because he's, no, please, not that one. Can we just get it from the float, <laughs> please? <laughs> Post show tack room vibes. You're about as indecisive as I am with saddle pads. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about you as well, though. <laughs> Also remember it's a different saddle than the one that I show in. What bridle are we using? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Alright. We're not going for the stud girth. It's two different stud girths. Or a normal girth. Or a short point or long point girth. <laughs> I can't wait to edit this. I'm really just appreciating how intensely he's thinking about all of this. <laughs> Particularly with how cocky he was being about thinking he was going to absolutely nail everything. So it's really satisfying. Dex looks nervous. <laughs> Not brushing him. I don't know. He's dirty. Dirty boy. So after that reminder to brush, we are now fully brushing Dexter's body. Quite firmly, I may add. Very, very firm. Intense brushing. And can we just appreciate how long it's taking him to work out where the saddlebag goes? <laughs> I like just the silent intent that you've got. Yeah, this is your job to talk over it all. Really? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to do a voiceover. Here we have Max slightly tack shaming me because he's used to the little Muir pads and he didn't realize that this cheap one didn't have the little holes to put the mini billet straps through. <laughs> just use that one. That's one I use like every day. It's just a bit like faded and gross looking. I wish I could easily put a saddle on and not have to aggressively fling it over. Mm, I will say it's pretty hard to do on this saddle, so usually I just stick it to the Velcro underneath it. Un like underneath? No, un underneath like the flap, what? like this. Uh, that's not even straight. I don't know, that's just, it holds it in place. I don't know this one. Just, just 
put it under the saddle. I don't want to give you tips, but also it's kind of hard not to. Just before we put the girth on, what do we think of the placement of the saddle right now? <laughs> this one's got three. My other one has three. Mm. Should I just go with one? Mm. Is that how it goes? Cocky. Bastard. Yeah, these are all different ones. No, they're not. They're the same. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They're different. Which one has been used the most? Not the middle one. <laughs> Why? That doesn't make sense, though. Like, think it makes it level. It evens out the pressure on their backs. Once again. But just slightly checking that this placement of the saddle is okay. <laughs> no. Can we talk slightly louder, please? Heavily agree. No, I'm talking to myself. It's a lonely billet strap. I mean, some people don't use them, so technically it's fine. But from what you've seen that I've done, yeah. I would always use that. It's covering up a frame. Yeah, I've got to get that promo in there, you know. So do we like his clip job, guys? I did it with uh, the $20 clippers. It's like somewhat okay. It's actually better than some clip jobs. I feel like I've paid $100 for, but... That's fine. Except he's just like so ridiculously thick where I haven't clipped obviously. Like that is an aggressive line and Max reckons I should give him a fade. Yeah. Which I I'm have said fade. is not a thing with horses, but like would it look better? Possibly. But also I feel like it would be quite hard to do on a horse. We got the breastplate. Some very heavy second guessing happening right now. <laughs> Which goes first, bridle or breastplate? I feel like people in the comments are going to be shitty at me for giving you tips. <laughs> what do you mean? You haven't done that. <laughs> Bite him. Bite his butt. You could put dicks. Can't wait for this bit, considering Dex, you can't even get a hold on him without him walking away. Dex doesn't like men very much. Apparently once when he was like three years old, a friend of mine tried to catch him in the paddock, or maybe four years old, tried to catch him in the paddock and it was like a 30 degree day and he had a winter rug on, so he had to take the winter rug off, obviously. Just before you take that off, maybe put the reins over his neck so he can't run away. So like thread it through an area. But yeah, so he tried to catch Dex and Dexter just ended up like running in circles with a giant winter rug on all day. And uh, yeah, he just never let him catch him. So that was a good time. And that was the last time that he looked after Dexter for his old owner. He looks so startled, Dex. <laughs> this is chaotic. <laughs> I feel like I'm confused. Just unclip it. What? Unclip the thing. I love this so much. He unclips it from the top one and then for no reason at all puts it on the bottom ring. <laughs> it's so hard not to give you tips right now. Be gentle with his teeth. Come on. Come on. Get him in. I'm impressed. I'm surprised you managed to do that without me saying what to do.
Where's the place that you can see I put it the most? Actually, that's a new one, so it's hard to tell, but. Well, that's there, that's that one. Mm-hmm. Is there another strap that's loose? That's loose. Yeah, like on the bridle. Yeah. Uh, have you seen, what is it? Mm -hmm. Does it tuck better? Mm -hmm. Yes. But then the other side. Boots. There's like some just at home ones just on that thingy. Some Waldenhausen. Waldenhausen. Do you reckon that's German? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Can we just do that, like, again? Like, undo them? Because, like, their hair, when you push them up, it... Yes like that because like their hair when you push it up goes the wrong direction it's kind of uncomfy nice the only thing i would say i would put the girth like here just because it like tends to mm -mm, think about what i said again about the so you have to undo the girth just like on one side and then move it up just because they tend to slip back a little bit as you're riding so yeah, just make sure his hairs don't like fling the other way. And then kind of like you go like that and then like let it fall down into place a little bit more. So then the hairs go the right way. Yeah. The intense silence, it just gets me, you know? Concentrating. Cool. All right. Helmet up, boy. Yeah, the helmet is not ideal. <laughs> Sadly, he has to wear a show helmet because it's the only helmet that we found. Well, actually, it's just our housemates and it's literally the first one that he's put on, I think. Have you tried to put on one of mine? Yeah, I've put one on, yeah. His head is like a, I think that's like a 60 helmet and my head is like a 56. So there's absolutely no way in hell he will be able to put one on. I've got a teeny tiny head and he has a giant head, so would not work. But yeah, it's our housemates and he does hacking and like showing. So <clears throat> that's why sadly Max has to wear a, uh, a showing helmet today. <laughs> Apparently Jay has a cask, our housemate has a cask. So hopefully we can borrow that for when we fully kit Max out in riding stuff. Flo! How did you even get that? Oi. Hey. You are cheeky. Real profesh here. And they're roquel and they fit. Oh my God, I'm surprised. Cause you have giant hands. So for Max's sake, I'm going to ride Dexter first just to see how he's feeling today. <laughs> you look so nervous. Me. Well, because he's just staring at me. No, he's not. He's he fine. Also, I'm slightly worried about the stirrup leathers if they're going to go long enough. But surely, if that's my length, I don't think your legs like that. Mm. Yeah, that's less than a foot. I feel. Here we have me desensitizing the beast in all beginner ways I thought possible. So. <laughs> Dexter is just so chilled with this sort of thing like he just does not care what happens on his back especially compared to Jerry. That being said mum was convinced that he was only like this because he knew it was me on his back which was maybe slightly the case but then again I do feel like Dexter just doesn't really care 
about what's happening on his back as much as other scary things around him. <laughs> yeah, you can see he just trots on, trots his big bouncy trot on. All right, Max's turn. Just gonna put these down already because we know they're gonna have to be a lot longer. I reckon I'll try like four maybe. Look at how long that looks. It's probably still gonna have to be longer. You look so nervous. It's okay. Uh, other side. Sorry, Dex. Four. Girth is tight enough. We good. All right. And it begins. So I always kind of push down the other stirrup as people get on because it kind of evens out the pressure in their back. Yeah. Oh, so Dexter was like, oh, okay. This person's slightly heavier. But still, as you can see, he does not appear to care in the slightest. <laughs> and as you can see too, I definitely had to put the stirrups down to the bottom hole. All right, so with your hands, you put the reins through between your pinky and your ring finger. So like that, through there, and then out the top, and then put your thumb on top. Like that, yeah, like that. Yeah, and thumb on top. So it's like holding it in, so it's like coming out up there properly on it, yeah. So just shorten them a little bit more, the reins. So yeah. you hold that, yeah. You hold that and shorten them and then put your thumb on top of you. Yeah. So when you want to go forward, you have to release with your hands. So you hold your hands a bit more forward. So yeah, 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 like that. And then you slowly just ask him to go forward by squeezing with your leg. Yeah, like that. Yeah, good. So, <laughs> so you gotta keep squeezing with your leg if you want him to keep going and walk. Forward and, and release forward because then you're not holding him with the reins. So he's not being asked to stop and go at the same time. Yeah, good, good. And then ask him to stop, so squeeze. So like, yeah, yeah, like that. Release All right. Forward. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they're pretty much the most important things, as you know. So ask him to stop now, because he's going a bit too fast. Yeah, so he's got good brakes, especially because you're a lot stronger than me, so. All right, <laughs> Tex is like, fuck, this guy is so much heavier than her. <laughs> he literally cocked his leg just then, like, oh my God. Yeah, good. So do lots of transitions, like stop and then go, just so you nailed it. Don't let him come to me as well, cause he's like, mum, please just let me stop. Good. Good. Good, yeah. And just rock your hips a bit more with his movement, which is pretty big movement. Woo. Yeah, good. So you kind of spooch then. Release with your hands. Good, yeah. Yeah. Don't have your hands resting on your legs. Hold them higher, yep. And forward with your hands when you're asking him to go. Good. And then kind of just like rock your heels so you're like kind of kicking it, not kicking him, but slightly squeezing on each side with each step to keep him walking forward. Woo. Not that much though. So. Yeah, like. Yeah. However fast you want him to go with it. Just lightly, just so he knows to keep walking. Good. I think it's how short your stirrups are, but you don't actually look terribly tall on him as bad as I expected. <laughs> Everyone in the comments be like, yes, he does. <laughs> They're way too short. It's too big for that horse. Yeah, boy. I mean, he's 16'3, it's not like he's tiny. Good. Yeah, release forward with your hands. Just relax. 
and then Y seem to stop. Good. Yeah, that was good. Nice. Okay, we're gonna try a little trot, aren't we? Get itchy. Okay. So I realized after that I completely forgot to explain how to actually drys trot. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One. <laughs> You're just like Rise right. on two. So you stand up like three your heels. Stand up. I think you understand like how much upper body is actually my foot out. Is above my fucking hips. <laughs> I mean you sat trot that okay. Yeah. As soon as it was like, oh rise, I was just like bang bang bang. So right. Rise. Yeah, yeah. But sit down not like bang. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be soft because it's his back. So one, two, one, two, one. Just hold on to this if you need to. Like hold, hold that. Yeah. 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 It's definitely quite hard to teach the basics when it was so long ago that I myself was learning how to ride because I kind of learned how to sit and rise trot when I was about five after like a couple of riding lessons and then you know learnt canter a lot later <laughs> oh my god I forgot about that bit <laughs> me like good boy Dexter well done dealing with this this is not your normal job but yeah this is not at all to poke fun at Max or anything I mean maybe like a little bit and Dexter is definitely not an easy horse to learn how to ride on considering he is so long and bouncy and Max is literally a whole foot taller than me and I would consider myself a taller rider at 5'9". So he was doing pretty bloody well considering the balance and everything with that. And yeah, of course it's not going to be perfect when you're learning how to ride. Unfortunately, it's just the case when you're learning a new sport and new things. Stuff like this will happen. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go and so I was like, nope. Just do it slightly or less aggressively. Okay, we done. First lesson done. <laughs> oh, I was just trying to get in the camera shot. <laughs> I'm in it now. <laughs> Back, Dex. Good. Good. Now, all right, right, so take both feet out the stirrup yeah. and then just hold the pommel over the front of the saddle, kind of, and then really kick up your leg over. So you like. <laughs> uh, okay. And then I'm, I'm yeah, going I down. I want to sit a bit further forward in the saddle because it's. Can't go further forward. I've got. I've got a couple of things that are stopping me from going further forward. <laughs> so I gotta like, drop into the hip. I don't know if my hip flexor has that mobility. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck on him. <laughs> Thank you for not freaking out when I booted the. <laughs> That's a good thing with Dex, like Jerry would have king lost it. Dexter is just a lot more like such a doofus that he doesn't care. Good boy! Okay, so yeah, I think I think we need a bigger horse. Apparently Max was hitting him there occasionally with his boot. We need a wider barrel, Dex. And then I'm like, oh no. I'm kicking him. Move my feet back and then Dex is like all right, let's go faster. <laughs> no, it was good. You got the rising trot in the end, especially compared to the beginning. Surprisingly, it doesn't hurt as much as I thought it was going to. Mm, interested to see how you feel tomorrow in the legs. Yeah, it's leg day tomorrow.
Oh. It's gonna be fun. Oh no. I'm surprised it wasn't worse, like where it pinched there. Like yeah. you can see what it does to my boots. Like that's a replacement from the leather underneath as well. Maybe I was lucky because it's got jeans rather than like yeah, leggings. leggings. Yeah, yeah, I like can barely ride them in leggings alone. Did that go better or worse than expected? Better. Better than expected? A lot better. <laughs> what were you expecting? Uh, to be really sore. Mm. To be fair. I'm um, keen to check in tomorrow. And almost potentially borderline to fall off, yeah. which I was on the edge of, maybe. <laughs> but like I thought I'd be like full like holding on. Yeah, no, no. All right, we good. Say hello. Be, be free, good horse. So I've already been out today. Why would I need to go out again? Wait. Oh yes. Wait. <laughs> Is it going? <laughs> okay, it's done. Thank you for your helmet. Oh, uh, all good. Bye. Charging.